so today we're just going to take a quick look at my Mega Pi build that I made a few years ago. Okay, so you can hear it sound like uh, it's going to take off and the fan it probably needs a clean or something but it does it does settle down once it's loaded emulation station so um here it is i skipped most of the boot sequence because it does take a bit of time but we've just gone for my sort of custom intro video um i'm using the carbon theme i think uh i didn't mess about with them because there isn't a mega drive one i quite like yet so um just fire up the 8 bit do controller. Okay, and there we go. So, um, yeah, there's, a, there's one that's pretty good, but it's not quite what I'm after. I know Ruckage made some themes for them for the SNES, the NES, and the Famicom one as well, and I'm using those, they're great. Um, but he's not done one for Mega Drive, I think he was working on one, but um, it didn't, he didn't finish it. So uh, yeah, so this this is the Mega Drive one. So this is the first build I did for the Raspberry Pi um, because I grew up with the Mega Drive, so I've got these, you know, uh, that nostalgia for me is pretty big. So um, I'd set this up. But we've got, uh, we've got this load of Aladdin actually. Let's go with the UK version of Aladdin. But it's, um. Yeah, you know, it's pretty good. I think I did this before the Mega Drive Mini came out. So, you know, I would still like a Mega Drive Mini just to have things official. Um, but, uh, you know, for all the stuff you can't get, then I like Emulation Station. And, um, you know, for the cost of a Pi and the case and everything like that. Wow, it's loud. Um, you know, it was about probably about the same price. So we've got some nice things, we've got the CRT filter, we've got the border on as well. I don't know why it's picking up the Japanese box art, but you know, that's fine, I can live with that. But it's just a nice a nice sort of bezel. Um, ideally, I would have this running on an actual CRT, but I don't have the room for that. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a lad in. And I'll sort of go over the 8-bit do controller in a second. So we'll just see how gorgeous this looks. So yeah, there might be a bit of lag. I can't really tell, but it is a it is a Pi. Uh, it's a Pi two. I've overclocked it a little, so it could be you know maybe the CRT filter is probably taking the taking its toll on the um, on the aging hardware. This Pi two was originally being used as a. Um, as like a, a Kodi server. So it was on for ages. So it's, you know, it's probably a little bit knackered. Um, but I think a Pi 3 would also fit in this case. So, you know, that's something I might consider down the line when they become available again. So yeah, that's that. We'll take a look at the controller in a second. Okay, so this is the 8 bit controller. Now I got this, it was recommended um, by various Amazon peeps, and it's um, oh, it's really good. Uh, this is the first one of theirs I got, and I will buy anything 8 bit do uh, if they if they make a you know a retro style controller, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up. Um, I also use this on the PC mainly for beat em up, so it's great for Street Fighter because of the six button layout. So I've used it wired. Um, with Street Fighter 5, I guess I've been playing a little bit. I'm no good at it, but it does make it easier because you've got your, your punches and kicks all across there. Um, so it's pretty good for that. Um, you know, it's maybe not as good as a like an arcade stick or a hitbox, but I'm not professional, it does the job. But really, it's, it does a pretty good job of replicating the Mega Drive controller, with a few more buttons as well. It's, uh, it's top notch stuff. So as you can see in the other video with the PC engine build, I got the 8 bit do PCE um, wireless controller. So that is, that's also a great controller. I really like that. I'm looking forward to using that with the PC engine build once that's finished. 
I thought I sort of just even used it for testing for the time being, but I will be using it properly soon. Um, I'm still playing Aladdin very badly, I might add, because I'm trying to multitask. But um, yeah, I can't recommend this enough. Um, like I said, I, down the line, if money with no object and I have the space, I would probably fork out. Oh, I'd get the original consoles, but also I'd probably get the mini consoles as well as display pieces. But, um, you know, you can't collect it all, especially on a budget and with a lack of space. So, for the time being, this sort of satisfies the emulation need. Um, really, uh, yeah, so it's a good controller, so I recommend that. Even if you can't get the, the, um, the console case, the retro flag case, just having this controller and using it on a PC or something like that will feel close enough. So yeah, that's that. Um, so all in all, it's just a quick look really at the Mega Drive. So the Mega Pi case and this controller. So, you know, uh, if you have any questions about it, you know, mention in the, you know, ask in the comments, I can probably answer them. You can probably find this stuff online. It's been out for a few years now. And um, really, I'm just creating this video just as a little overview of stuff I've got at the moment. So it's nothing new. It's, you know, it's stuff that's readily available and it's probably been covered by others, but you know, I've had a lot of time to play with this and it just give you an impression of how, what I think of it after the last few years, really. Um, but yeah, I, I would say it's, if you can afford it, if you can get hold of a Pi 2 or 3, if you can get hold of the Retro Flag case, I think they're about 30 pounds. If you can get hold of this controller, that's about 25 to 30 pounds as well. You know, it's, and the, and the Pi and everything, it's probably approaching the cost of the Mega Drive Mini. Um, you know, that you can get second hand for around 60, but um, obviously this will have more more games potentially if, if you want to explore the uh, <laughs> that route and the shady sites you might need to go to to get them. But um, in a pinch, this does the job of replicating the feel of the Mega Drive. So um, yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed my ramblings this time and uh, you know, and, until next time, Happy gaming.